I'm Bill Keys. I'm the Operations General Manager for Buck Knives, which essentially means I'm responsible for everything not directly connected with finance or sales. Other than that, it's kind of my baby. Um, fixing stuff. The, uh, what you see here is the um, our addition to the survival and tactical line. And I'm going to kind of group these by a couple of specific products here. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, these are a what we call our bush knives. Actually, the name of them is the Reaper. And they're a small version of, again, a Kukri, which was a... Uh, um, Actually, a couple hundred year old design. It's not an exact design, but it's similar. We took it from that. The curved blade allows you to cut up front very well. It's good for chopping, it's good for slicing, it's a good utilitarian style of knife. The coating is what we call our black traction coating. It's a powder coating on here. We've, we've used it on quite a few of our hunting products now. Um, the, the handles are a um, glass reinforced nylon, so impervious pretty much to heat, cold, chemicals, things like that, water, um, attached with screws, you can take the handle off, if the handle does happen to come off or break or something, it's still a completely functional knife, no issue with that. The uh, What we've done is, given the very big popularity of, of graphics and so on now on products. We offer this in two basic graphics patterns. This is what we call our Ghost Reaper, and if you look, you can see why. You know, the skull. The skull. Been very, very popular. Very popular. Um, this is what we call our Pit Viper. Snake skin pattern you can see um, in the black and white. Both of these come in a standard sheath. When I say standard, it's a nylon sheath. It's not a Molly compatible sheath. It's a standard nylon sheath. One of the things we're looking at doing is later this year offering a Molly compatible sheath upgrade for this. You know, the idea of the standard sheath right now is to keep the cost in, in a range that more people might it might be attracted to. Them. So uh, I'm gonna jump over to these guys real quick. As you can see, we have basically these four products are very similar. This is a, a slightly modified version of a product we introduced probably 12, 13 years ago called the Intrepid series. Okay. At that time, blades were a little larger, a little thicker, what we did, and it was they were kind of ahead of their time because it uh, survival and that style of product was not all that popular. Looked at it again this year, thought, okay, now is, the timing is right. Put these out, and they really are intended for just, again, general heavy-duty camp or survival use. Have a tanto point, which is good for piercing. You know, it, it's uh, it's not an extremely sharp edge. These are dull for display purposes up here. Makes a good scraper, but it's a heavy point. Again, piercing, prying, things like that. That's what these are for. Uh, handles, just like these, are the glass reinforced nylon. Black traction coating, again, just like this. The um, two slightly different sizes, the small one and the larger one you see here. These come with Molly compatible sheaths, so that's that's the standard sheath on these. And the difference between these two guys and these two is, again, the handle graphics. Solid black, or what we call the Ghost Reaper um, handle. The, um, really, it's just, it's intended for heavy duty, field use. And these, actually again, these have gotten very good reception because a lot of people are looking for something now that is heavy, or I should say heavy duty use, that's not real heavy, because if you pick it up again, they're not real heavy, they're not, you know, these things don't weigh two pounds each. They think they have use. They'll, but they'll take a lot of abuse. We, you know, one of the things we did when we were kind of developing, played with them, pounded on them, beat on things, and so on. So, you know, again, they've gotten real good reception. Oh, it's okay. The last in this group is this guy, which we call the uh, Sentry for Model 822. This is intended, again, for somebody that wants a tactical style of product. There go the black coating, the black traction coating. And one of the things I'll mention about the black traction coating, a lot of products used to be black oxide coating. Black oxide's nice, 
it does wear, it does, it, after you use it, run, put it down a sheath for a while, you'll see it scuff, you'll see it wear off over two time. This is a powder coating. Match machine? It's heavy use and that it's it will take a lot to get this thing to come off. It's it's not gonna scrape off, it's not gonna wear off. That's why we've gone to the powder coating on these and even this one. Um, partial serrated blade. Comes, and this one does come with a Molly compatible sheath, which is this one right here. Again, same basic idea as what we've done for the uh, the Woods, Woods product. Uh, you got your as much as we can. Nine to ten feet of paracord on the bottom, pouch on the front. You know, multiple full retention retention system, multiple attachment system on the back. So. And actually, from a from a cost standpoint, don't quote me. This is about eighty dollars MSRP, eighty to ninety dollars, somewhere in that range, generally. Which is we're aiming this for at people that they want a tactical style knife that will work well for general use, can be a tactical product that's not going to cost them a fortune. Yeah, handles nylon reinforced or glass reinforced nylon, same basic handle as what you see here.